The Cholas of the pre- and post-Sangam period 400 BCE to 200 CE were one of the three main kingdoms of the ancient Tamil country. Their early capitals were Arayar and Kavarapatanam. Along with Pandyas and Cheras, Chola history goes back to the period where the history is covered with the mists of time. <laughs> Sources Ancient Tamil Nadu contained three monarchical states, headed by kings called Vendar and several chieftaincies, headed by the chiefs called by the general denomination Vel or Valir. Still lower at the local level there were clan chiefs called Kizar or Manar. The Tamil area had an independent existence outside the control of these northern empires. The Tamil kings and chiefs were always in conflict with each other mostly over property. The royal courts were mostly places of social gathering rather than places of dispensation of authority, they were centres for distribution of resources. The names of the three dynasties, Cholas, Pandyas, and Cheras, are mentioned in the Pillars of Ashoka inscribed 273-232 BCE inscriptions, among the kingdoms, which though not subject to Ashoka, were on friendly terms with him. The king of Kalinga, Karavela, who ruled around 150 BCE, mentioned in the famous Hathagumpha inscription of the confederacy of the Tamil kingdoms that had existed for over 100 years. Karakala Chola was the most famous early Chola. He is mentioned in a number of poems in the Tamil Sangam literature. Another source for the available information of the early Cholas is the early Tamil literature of the Sangam period. There are also brief notices on the Chola country and its towns, ports and commerce furnished by the Periplus of the Erythraean Sea Periplus Maris Erythrae. Periplus is a work by an anonymous Alexandrian merchant, written in the time of Domitian CE and contains precious information of the Chola country. Writing half a century later, the geographer Ptolemy has more to tell us about the Chola country, its port and its inland cities. Mahavamsa, a Buddhist text, also recounts a number of conflicts between the inhabitants of Ceylon and the Tamil immigrants from Chola country. Chronicles such as the Yalpana Vipava Malai and stone inscriptions like Kanasar Kalvatu recount that Kulakatan, an early Chola king and descendant of Manu Nidi Cholan, was the restorer of the ruined Kaneswaram temple and tank at Trincomalee in 438 CE, the Munaswaram temple of the west coast, and as the royal who settled ancient Vanyar not to confuse with present-day Vanyar or Pali caste. Early Cholas. The inscriptions of the medieval Cholas are replete with history about the early Chola kings. The Cholas were looked upon as descended from the sun. These historic incidents speak of the Chola king Kantaman, supposed contemporary of the sage Agastya, whose devotion brought the river Kaveri into existence. There is also the story of the king Manu who sentenced his son to death for having accidentally killed a calf. Mahavamasa portrays King Alara who was defeated by Dutta Gamini c. 3rd century BCE as the just king who, dot had a bell with a rope attached at the head of his bed, so that all who sought redress might ring it. King Sibi who rescued a dove from a hawk by giving his own flesh to the hungry hawk was also part of the early Chola history. These historic incidents received enormous emphasis in the later Chola period in the long mythical genealogies incorporated into the copper plate charters of the 10th and 11th centuries. The earliest version of this is found in the Anbal plates which gives 15 names before Vijayalaya Cholan including the historical ones of Karakala, Paranarkili and Kosinganan. The Thiruvalangadu plate swells this list to 44, and the Kanyakumari plate runs up to 52. There are other lists gathered from literary works such as Kalingathupurani. No two of these lists agree, although some names and details are common to all. <laughs> Cholas in Sangam literature The earliest Chola kings of whom we have tangible evidence are those mentioned in the Sangam literature, written in the period 200 BCE–300 CE. Unfortunately, it has not been possible to piece together an internal chronology of the Sangam works. Due to this, we know of several rulers, but not their chronology. All three kings have been portrayed as fighting the war or involved in feeding both the armies at that legendary war. <laughs> Karakala Chola Karakala Chola c. 
90 BCE stands preeminent amongst all those mentioned in Patanapalai. Karakala's father was Ilamsitseni, a brave king and a hard fighter. Karakala means elephant feller or charred leg, which is assumed to be a reference to an accident by fire which befell the prince early in his life. Patanapalai describes this accident and the enterprising way in which the prince escaped and established himself in the Chola throne. Patanapalai is a long poem on the then Chola capital Kavarapatanam. This work also describes the numerous battles Karakala fought against the other two Tamil kings in one of which the Shara king was disgraced received a wound on his back and committed suicide. Karakala thus broke the confederacy that was formed against him and established hegemony over Pandyas and Cheras. In later times Karakala was the subject of many legends found in the Salapatikaram and in inscriptions and literary works of the 11th and 12th centuries. They attribute to him the conquest of the whole of India up to the Himalayas and the construction of the flood banks, Grand Anakut, of the Kaveri River with the aid of his feudatories. These legends however are conspicuous by their absence in the works of Sangam. Nalankili and Nedunkili The poet Kovur Kilar mentions a protracted civil war between two Chola chieftains Nalankili and Nedunkili. Nedunkili shut himself in a fort in Avur, which was being besieged by Mavalatan, Nalankili's younger brother. The poet chided Nedunkili to come out and fight like a man instead of causing untold misery to the people of the city. In another poem, the poet begs both the princes to give up the civil war as whoever wins, the loser will be a Chola. Kosinganan Kalavali by Poigayar mentions the Chola king Kosinganan and his battle with the Shara king Kanaikal Irumpurai. The Shara was taken prisoner and Poigayar, who was a friend of the Shara, sang a poem praising the Chola king Kochchenganan in forty stanzas. The Chola king, pleased with the work, released the Shara. Kalavali describes the battle fought at Kalumalam, near the Shara capital. Kosinganan is one of the 63 Nayanars. Kosinganan became the subject of many instances in later times and is portrayed as a pious Shiva devotee who built many fine temples for Shiva along the banks of the river Kaveri. <laughs> Social conditions Sangam literature gives an unusually complete and true picture of the social and economic conditions during the early Chola period. The culture is best described as an amalgam of the Dravidian and Aryan. The stories of Mahabharata and Ramayana were well known to the Tamil people, shown by the claims of some kings to have fed both the opposing army in the Mahabharata war. The claim that Shibi, who gave his own flesh to save a dove, as a Chola is obviously influenced by northern legends. The land of the Cholas was fertile and there was ample food. Sangam poems say that in the Chola country watered by the river Kaveri, in a space in which an elephant could lie, one can produce enough grain to feed seven. Hereditary monarchy was the prevailing form of government. Disputed succession and civil war was not uncommon. The sphere of the state activity was limited. In a society steeped in respect for custom, even the most perverse dictator could not have done much harm. The Chola monarchs were approachable by subjects and justice was meted out directly by the king in most occasions. This is in marked contrast to the magnificent empires of the later Cholas where the emperor was kept much away from contact with the lay people. The kings often took the field in person in battles and if the kings was killed or wounded in battle, his army immediately gave up the fight and surrendered. The trade that flourished between the Chola country and the ancient Roman Empire is given in much detail by Periplus of the Erythraean Sea c. 75 CE. See also Chola Historic early Chola kings Sangam literature Kingdom of Chu Chu state equals equals notes <laughs>